How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Ultrasphere TCG and you're watching part 8 of the guide to playing and understanding the Ultrasphere. We'll be covering targeting today and the rules around who exactly you're allowed to attack and whatnot. It should be rather short. So you are only allowed to target contestants within range. Range is determined by class and if you want more info on the range of every class you can check out my video on classes. Anyways, range also applies when you target allies, and yes, you can attack allies. Some strategies even rely on targeting allies. So if you have a melee contestant in your captain row, you would not be able to target your active row. If you had a ranged contestant in your captain row, then you would be able to target your active row. When using a skill, however, if its description states enemy or enemies in it, you may only target an enemy. So, for example, Vera's unique skill, Double Kill, its description is if this skill KOs the target, this skill hits another enemy of choice in the row behind the initial target. So, it says enemy in the description, even if the effect does not apply or it's not triggered, if it says enemy in the description, anywhere in the description, then you can only target an enemy. On the flip side, if a skill states ally or allies in its description, then you may only target an ally. So if we take a look at the skill heal, it says Restore 2 HP to the user or a target ally. It says ally in the description. You may only use the skill on an ally. When targeting an ally, attacks and skills cannot miss. So you can disregard accuracy and agility in that case. And that's it for targeting. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time for the final part of the guide.